The happiest people I know are those who lose themselves in the service of others. Hi, my name is Ellie and I'm here to inform you about social work, but more importantly, adult protection. Why do I want to be in adult protection? Because it's something that I grew up with. I was always with my mom when she was with her clients, when she was taking them into nursing homes, moving them out of their houses, um, and seeing people in a bad place, it kind of just makes me feel like I need to help them. I don't know why, it's just kind of my instinct. The schooling needed for this is a bachelor's degree in social work, and then after that, you'll have to do a job shadow, so they're gonna test your strengths. They're gonna see if you can walk into a hoarder house and not throw up, which is, this thing right here. Can you walk into that? Can you drag somebody out of their own feces while they're not wearing any clothes? Can you go pick up your client from the jail while they're completely intoxicated or on drugs? They're basically gonna test you on that. Um, another thing I wanna talk to you about is the day in the life of a social worker. So my mom is a social worker. She is specifically in adult protection. She loves it, it's her favorite thing to do. But there are days when she comes home and she is so stressed out because she has to go into a hospital and do screenings on people. A screening is where you test somebody to see exactly what is wrong with them. What kind of disabilities do they have? Can they talk to you? Do they communicate? Are they antisocial? Um, are they schizophrenic? Or do they abuse drugs? She basically gets to tell, can this person take care of themselves or not? Is their family member abusing them? Stuff kind of like that. Um, if somebody has a drug issue, my mom has to place them on a 72-hour hold, which is not always easy when they don't want to go to the hospital. And she's basically walking to this house by herself with no backup. It's just her. And at one point, there has been 425 men charging at my mom because they don't want to go. It's a scary job, and I don't really know why I want to do it. It's probably just because I want to help people. But yeah, so to summarize, why I want to be a social worker is because I grew up with it, and it's something that I feel like would be really fun. The schooling is four years, and basically you just have to job shadow and not even have family. Thank you. things that she has to learn and especially like with the different drugs and stuff you have to know 